This is a review of the Rock of Ages Study Bible. Authorised King James and you've got the little logo. You do have race hubs on this. As you can sort of see, they are raised. I just see. Now, I've just got this uh, about an hour ago. So, I did break it in, but it's still quite stiff. It's a really tight binding on this. You do get, you do get, actually get four ribbons with this. You got four here. Um, I'm not sure if anyone, if you know about these, they're actually a ministry. And um, yeah, for every one of these leather Bibles or one of the premium sort of Bibles, you buy one of these, they actually give two paperback ones or vinyl covered ones to a prison to two prisoners which I think is a great ministry um, it is actually um, based on a um, dispensational sort of teaching it's not in your face dispensational teaching either it's actually quite um, quite subtle with it I've noticed in some of the some of the notes um, this one is copyrighted in 2019 and it's also printed. Where are we? Printed. July 2019. Printed and bound in the United States. The paper's not too bad. It is thin. But um, I, bought, I got this for $80 US. So it is a great price for what you get in this Bible. you got a contents. And you can see... All the notes. There is the ghosting looks a little worse on the camera, but there is a little bit of ghosting. I will admit that. But it's not too bad. I've seen worse. I've seen some ones have been worse. So a quick glance of where if you want to find something. They have this for every every one, every book in the Bible. You got an introduction that explains the explains how to use the markings, the asterisks and stuff like that in here. About the Bible and its author. I wasn't going sure all that. It's just a quick review this one. Reasonably quick. You do have a few notes in here. So I just stop so that if you want to read these notes, you can. I find the notes are quite helpful. They're actually even for the um, the arcade words or whatever they like to call them. They will even have them. In, they'll even have them down the bottom here and tell you what they are. So yeah, well, I was quite impressed with this Bible. I'm just going to do a quick flip through here for you. They actually wrap it up. <laughs> actually wrap it up like an Allen's Bible. You get the paper like that. Um, the notes in these are... I mean, it's a 10... The font is a 10-point um, font. It's actually quite nice and it's quite clear. It is. You have your map, you have some maps inside. This is an Oxford text. This Bible. You have all these sort of even the family tree stuff. It's it's a great study Bible. This I have. I've, like I said, I've been looking for it for about an hour, and yeah, I'm just blown away by the quality of it, and by the notes, and by these. These are great in here. You've got them all through the Bible. They're just great. Um, I'll get into the. I'll get into. Um, I think Psalms was worse with the. With the um, ghosting, but it, you know it wasn't that bad really. See, 
Look at this. See um, Psalms 23. And they're talking about the anointed oil. So here it is here. If you want to read that. I thought that was really good. I thought that was great. And you've got the notes down here for it as well. If you want to pause it and have a look. We're going to the New Testament. It is a red letter. The red letter is not... It's not great, but it's not bad. You know, it's not... It's not... You can't read it or it's eye-popping or anything like that. There is a little bit where it might be a little bit darker and a bit lighter, but it's not that noticeable, really. I, um... I do have problems... I'm not a fan of the red letter, but... In any Bible, to tell you the truth, not even Cambridge Red, I'm not a fan of. But um, this is not too bad. See how it's a bit darker on this side? But yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I did find one page that was a little bit lighter on the red, but I'm presuming now I won't be able to find that. Article here on Born Again. Now, what I do like about this as well, I was quite surprised. Now, at the back you have, this is just like a little concordance, maybe they've put in for the study Bible part of this Bible, but they actually have the Oxford concordance in this. And you find the beginning of it, and it is big. It is a really nice, good size concordance in this Bible. That's how thick the concordance is in this Bible. That's really good. And it is the Oxford I checked with my... I checked with my, um... I checked with my, um, Allen Bible. It is, it's exactly the same. You do have... I think it was eight or ten, you know, ten, ten pages for notes. And you also have the really nice Oxford... The Oxford maps that you will find in your Allen Long Primers. If you actually have one of those. So, same maps. They're nice maps too. As well. The cardstock at the back, it is edge line and all that sort of stuff. Here's the same binding and, you know, this is lambskin. And inside is actually calf skin so there's no synthetic at all on this cover which makes that a really long lasting cover sometimes you'll find the synthetic will actually break down over time whether it be a whether it be a um, church bible publisher one or a or a um, Cambridge one the synthetic stuff does break down over time you will find as this being calf skin and this being lamb skin, that is not going to break down at all. So this Bible is actually a Bible for a lifetime. Uh, like I said, I am really impressed with this. I have been waiting a long time to get one of these. Um, they do not sell, well, they do not sell and post overseas this quality of Bible I had to organize somebody in the States to buy it for me and to ship it out to me and I was very much very grateful for them to do that for me like I said I have been wanting one of these for quite a long time and it was well it's well worth the wait so it does have a few lines on it but that'll come out from because it was packed so long because it was in postage it took three weeks, three and a half weeks to get here. Nearly four weeks, so. So, yeah, so that's my review on the Rock of Ages Study Bible. If you've got any questions about it, just drop them in the, just drop them down the, in the comments and I'll, I'll be more than happy to try and answer them for you. Okay? And like I said, mate, that's got some great notes in it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall leave you with that. Uh, 
God bless.